Hi, this is Mad Jen with Mad as Heck, Moms and Dads Associated Society, helping to educate conservative constitutionalists. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and please share with friends. You know, I didn't start this video blog to do constant angry rants every day. Okay, never mind. Who am I kidding? Yes, I did. Um, they don't call me Mad Jen for a reason. Um, yeah, and I am angry. You know what? And we should all be really really angry right now about what I'm getting ready to speak about. If you're not angry about this, then there's something seriously freaking wrong with you, okay? Where I'm going to talk about a new article that came out on Fox News today, and not just Fox News, but also the Mexican news station Univision, or Univision. Yeah, Univision. Yeah, I used to watch that too. Anyway, um, Apparently, they've learned, or maybe they already knew and always knew, what real reporting is about. Because they are the ones, and for good reason, who are reporting about this fast and furious scandal. It's more than a scandal. It's a huge, huge, big freaking deal. If you are a liberal and you don't know about fast and furious, it just shows how completely ignorant you are. Yes, I said it. You are ignorant. If you don't know what Fast and Furious is, what it's all about, and what has happened. You know, Watergate caused the end of a presidency. Fast and Furious, Libya, e Egypt, all these different places where the Obama administration is aiding and abetting our enemies and doing things that are causing people to die. Nobody died in Watergate, folks, but people are dying in other countries and American citizens are dying because of what happened with Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious is where the Obama administration, pretty much from the beginning of the administration, went and uh, sold guns to the Mexican drug cartels under the guise that they were going to try to track them and see where they were going. Well, the problem is there was no freaking tracking on the guns. There were serial numbers, but there were no tracking devices. So until they show up at a crime scene, we can't find these weapons. And guess what? They showed up at crime scenes, like a lot of them. It's been reported that there, there was a 2009 shooting that killed 16 people that had Fast and Furious guns. There was a 2010 massacre in, at a children's, at a teenager's birthday party in Juarez, Mexico. Killed something like 18 young people and their parents and wounded like 14 more. The Fast and Furious guns were found at the crime scene. This was a bloodbath, people. Terry... Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot his name. Terry Jones. He, the Border Patrol agent. Pardon me. That was like the worst thing I could do because we criticized, who was it, Obama or somebody for not knowing the man's name? And here I am forgetting it. I apologize to the friends and family of this man who lost his life because of Fast and Furious. It was a Fast and Furious gun that killed him. And that anybody could still vote for Obama after this alone. I don't care if he was the savior of all things great and wonderful. This alone should be reason for you not to vote for the man. He is causing people to die, innocent people to die because of his stupid policies. And how is it possible that in 2009 when this happened that they didn't know it was had to do with their with their program that it was continuing on into 2010 where more innocent people died and then the border patrol agent who was killed an American citizen and then there's word that there was another program like Fast and Furious that caused more guns to go across our borders into the hands of the Mexican drug cartels and you want to reelect this piece of crap why? Why would you do such a stupid thing? Do you not care at all about our national security? Do you not care at all about, about anything other than your stupid little ideologies and ideologies? What, what's wrong with you people? Wake up. This guy is dangerous. And you care. Oh, oh, you want to care about the Mexicans when they come over here illegally and come to our nation. And then you care so much about them. You want to give the way the give away everything to them. But what about the ones that stay in their nation? Now they're in danger 
<coughs> as we speak right now because of all these guns that the Obama administration allowed to walk over the border. They're still in danger, folks. You don't care about them now, do you? Because they're actually staying in their country and making a living and doing their own thing in their own country. It doesn't matter that they're dying because of the stupid crap the Obama administration's doing. What's wrong with you? Learn a little bit of something. Stay informed on what's happening to our national security and to the foreign policies of this administration. It's abysmal. It's heinous. It's wrong. And if you support it, God help us. I beg you to leave our country now. I beg you. And if you leave, don't ever come back because we don't need any more of your craziness in our nation. We've got enough crazy in the White House. And with that, folks, please, God bless every last one of you and long live the Republic if we can survive with what little of it we have left. Thanks for watching. See you next time.